Hi, my name is Dylan Gunning, and this is my R2 build. All right, so I have my radar eye that I need to work on painting, and I want to make sure this looks really good because someday my son Luke is going to be enjoying a life-size R2-D2, and I want to make sure it looks really good, especially for the day he brings in for show and tell. So what I've noticed is on this guy, you gotta get painted blue, but the inner little workings that are currently showing as blue, for, kind of, are always like, you know, the metal looking color. So how are we gonna go ahead and keep that, the metal looking color, when we need to paint the rest of this guy? So I am very, very carefully cutting out very, very thin strips of blue tape and I am going to go ahead and slowly but surely and very carefully put them in the little nooks and crannies and then I'm going to go ahead and paint it and hopefully I do it well enough it'll look good so we'll see what happens and we can see that Luke is very excited about this idea so I'll show you when I'm done all right so Luke and I my son has already discovered that putting this glue tape inside this little cranny is very difficult, especially to keep it sticking down because the blue tape does not really want to stick well to the metal. So what I've found is using one of these binder clips, the back here actually fits almost just perfectly inside there and you can use that to kind of rub it in so it gets a nice seal. What I'm noticing is to cut it, I'm cutting very, very thin strips. Even this strip right here was a little too big. So I'm gonna have to do multiple strips of very small strips to get going through here and eventually we'll have it all good. All right, so Luke and I have finished up putting all the tape, blue tape. He's really excited on the radar eye. Please. Yeah, isn't that right, Luke? So we got that all the way around there in place. So now we are ready to go ahead and paint this up. All right, now that we've done the blue tape on the inner parts, we're going to go ahead and do the primer, just like we've done on the other parts, on the radar eye itself, the eyepiece. All right, looking good. So we'll do a few more coats to make sure we got evenly coated, and then we'll move on to the blue paint. All right, we'll come back later, do another coat or two. It's nice, beautiful color blue. So now the next step is getting the actual eye portion put in there. So what I did, I went to a local craft store and picked up some clear four inch uh, Christmas ornaments. Uh, if you can see here, it will fit very nicely once we've trimmed it down to the correct size. So what I'm going to first do is because it's a solid ball, it doesn't come apart. I'm going to have to cut it in half and then I'm going to use some of this uh, black gloss paint. I'm going to uh, paint the inside of the ball, not the outside. The inside, so you still get the reflective uh, coloration from the plastic ball. And um, we'll kind of see how it goes through the process of making it. So I got it all cut out now, so let's see how it looks. All right, so I now have it cut in half. 
So now I have access to the inside. So what I'm going to do now, before I paint it, is I'm going to use a black Sharpie and I'm going to go ahead and draw a line around the inner part to know where I need to cut it so it can lay flat inside of the radar eye assembly. So I just did the black line, it's not perfect, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my Dremel again, trim that out, and then after that we will go ahead and paint it. All right, so let's see if we actually cut that correctly. All right, looks like we are good to go. So I'm just gonna have to paint it out and then glue it on in. For this part, you are going to be adding the blue tape to the outside of the radar eye. This is gonna allow you to paint the inside the black color while leaving the shiny look of plastic on the outside, allowing the eye to look all reflected. All right, so now I have it all painted, so let's take off blue tape and see how it came out. All right, looks pretty good. I mean, there's a little, you can tell now that we have the black on there that the lens is not 100% smooth. There's a few scratches, but we all know that R2 is always banged up in the movies, so that should work out fine. So let's take a look and see how we look back here. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna fit nicely. So that's what it's gonna look like when we're all 100% finished. So what I'm gonna do now is along the edges here, just to make it easy, I'm gonna go get a little hot glue and glue it on in. All right, so I have my hot glue all warmed up. So I'm gonna start gluing in the lens. All right, the eyepiece is now attached. So here is a close-up of the completed radar eye. It's fully painted, as well as the black lens attached. You can see back here how we just hot glued the lens into place. This will allow you to take it out and uh, change it around as much as you want. So if you found this video useful, please don't forget to give us a good thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you.